Now we will discuss arcs and some properties related with the arcs. Suppose if two circles are there, two equal circles, two equal circles are there, then we have to keep in mind few points related with the arcs. Okay. In equal circles, if arcs are equal, if arcs are equal, then their central angles are also equal. Central angles are also equal. What are central angles? Now suppose this is the arc we are considering, this, this arc we are considering. Now this angle is the central angle. If arcs are equal, then their central angles are equal. Second, and vice versa. And vice versa means if arcs are equal, then central angles are equal. If central angles are equal, then arcs are equal. Second point is if arcs are equal, then length of chords are also equal. Length of chords are also equal. It means if in a circle, suppose this arc if suppose why we have one more circle like this and these are two equal circles if i say the length of these arcs are equal then this chord will be equal to this chord means arcs are equal then central angles are equal if central angles are equal then arcs are equal okay if arcs are equal then length of chords are equal and if length of chords are equal then arcs are equal and vice versa okay it means if arcs are equal, then central angles are equal and the length of chords are also equal. If chords are equal, then central angles are equal and then length of arcs are also equal. Now, based on these properties, we will discuss few examples. Okay. So, first one we have. So, in first example, it is given that chord AB in this figure, chord AB and chord BC are equal. Now, chords are equal. We have to find out the relation between AB and BC. AB and BC. We know that if chords are equal, then arcs are equal. So, it means arc AB will be equal to arc BC. But we have just learned that if arcs are equal, then chords are equal and vice versa. If chords are equal, then arcs are also equal. So, if chords are equal, it means arcs are also equal. Next is AOB and BOC. Now this is the angle AOB and this is the angle BOC. Now these two angles, O is the center of the circle. Now we know that if arcs are equal, then their central angles are also equal. So it implies angle AOB will be equal to angle BOC. If arcs are equal, then their central angles are also equal. Next is arc AD is greater than arc ABC. He is saying that arc AD is greater than arc ABC is greater than arc ABC now he is asking about the chord AD and AC if arc is greater then chord will be greater so it means this chord AD will be greater than AC if arcs are greater then corresponding chords will also be greater so clearly AD will be greater than AC and next it is given that PQ is equal to RS we have to find out measure of PQ. Measure of PQ we need to find out. Now, this is the, suppose this is the center. Now, if PQ and SR are equal, it means their central angles are also equal. It means their central angles are also equal. So, clearly this is 3x and this is how much? 2x plus 27. So, if arcs are equal, then their corresponding angles are also equal. It implies 3x must be equal to 2x plus 27 and we can solve it to find out the measure of PQ. Okay. Next. Next we have this one. These are two equal circles. Okay. So their radius are equal and arc AB and arc DE are same. Arc AB and arc DE are same. We know that if in equal circle, if arcs are equal, it implies their central angles are also equal. So central angle is 5y plus 5 will be equal to 7y minus 43. 7y minus 43 or plus 40 plus 43 it must be there. So this is equal. So 
these are equal minus 43 is there actually so minus 43 or minus 43 so now we can solve it to find the value of y arcs are equal in equal circles it was in equal circles if arcs are equal then their central angles are also equal this is the way of writing the central angles okay so these are the central angles so they must be equal now we can find out why next is a b is equal to c d prove that a d is equal to b c now we need to prove that a d is equal to a d and b c will be equal and it is given that a b is equal to c d now if a b is equal to c d so from the figure a b can be written as a d plus d b and c d can be written as c d c d is c b plus b d this is the arc if chords are equal then their corresponding arcs are equal and if their corresponding arcs are equal means this arc is the sum of a d and d b arc this arc is the sum of c b and b d arc so now clearly b d b d gets cancelled so arc a d and arc c b are equal and we know that if arcs are equal then their corresponding chords are also equal so it implies a d will be equal to c b okay if arcs are equal then their corresponding chords are also equal next we have this one it is given that AB is equal to DC and we need to prove that AC equal to BD. If these two are equal, then again their corresponding arcs must be equal. If chords are equal, then their corresponding arcs are equal. And if arcs are equal, clearly if we add arc BC to this and arc BC to the both sides, AB plus BC arc will be arc AC and DC plus BC arc will be arc DB. And if these arcs are equal, it implies their corresponding chords are also equal. So AC will be equal to DB. Whatever I am saying, you have to write down. When trying these questions in your rough notebook or fair notebook or in exam, you will write down if like reasons, like if arcs are equal, if arcs are equal, then their corresponding chords are also equal. Whatever I am saying, you have to write all those things in reason part. Okay. Now this is a different one. In this we have to prove that arc CD is equal to arc EC. This arc CD is equal to arc C we need to prove and this is given. This is a perpendicular from B and it goes up to this point E and there is a perpendicular from A and it goes up to this point D. Now for this we need to learn something more like in a circle. In this circle suppose we have this chord and this chord. Okay. Now if this is the central angle of the chord, this is the other central angle of this chord. This is 1, this is 2. These are the central angles. Now we know that the angle subtended by the chord at any other point on the circumference will be half of the angle subtended by the same chord at any point on the circumference. What I am saying, I am saying angle subtended by chord at any point on the circumference in same segment are equal by equal chords by equal chords if we have equal chords and they subtend any ang any point uh, they subtend any angle at any point on the circumference then those angles are equal what it means uh, you can directly say that angle in the same segment are equal. Angle in the same segment means this is the chord. Now there are two segments. Now if this chord makes any angle in the same segment like this, like this, like this, all these three angles will be equal. And again if it makes angles in the other segment, then those angles will also be equal. These two angles will be equal. Okay. So how we will use this A here in triangle this A suppose this is T point ATC in this triangle ATC we will use angle sum property and we can find angle TAC equal to 90 minus angle C means this angle will be 90 degree minus C if you use what angle sum property. Similarly, in triangle, suppose this is M, in triangle, this BMC, 
again using angle sum property we can find angle mbc as 90 degree minus angle c this is again 90 degree minus angle c so now clearly what we have we were having arc cd this arc cd and this arc ec was equal this this thing is given no this we have to prove sorry this we have to prove okay so now what we have we have this angle by arc ce equal to 90 minus c by arc ce now this angle is by arc cd which is also equal to 90 minus c it means if angles are equal then their corresponding chords are also equal so therefore dc must be equal to ec because angle in the same segment of a circle are equal if they are equal then chords are equal if chords are equal we just we have learned that arcs will be equal so dc will be equal to ec okay so this was a different type of question in which different properties will be used otherwise all the examples were very simple based on only these things okay so i hope you will like the video if you have any confusion you watch it again okay and if still there is any confusion you can ask me thank you guys thanks for watching